Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this pressure gauge uh, to check uh, if your Valbrock carburetor, uh, the w, <coughs> WB37, uh, works as it should. And I also show you how to use this, uh, this manual gauge. So this, this one is used uh, for uh, pressurizing your uh, var Valbro carburetor uh, to see three things. First of all, you will see if there is any leakage. And uh, second, uh, you will find out what is your pop up pressure. And uh, third, you will see what is your settle pressure. So you connect this, this gauge uh, to this one where the gas or fuel is going in. And you pump it. You pump it roughly to one bar and you wait like 30 seconds and if if it stays the same it means <clears throat> that this side of your carburetor has no leakage so that's a good sign you see still the same this this uh, original Val valbro carburetor is working well uh, then <clears throat> You keep pressurizing it and at 1.25 or somewhere near it, it pops up, you see, and it settles back roughly around 1 or 0 0.9 bar. That's, that's the right number. So if your carburetor works as this one, Everything is, is well and you can use it on your machine. Uh, then you just unscrew the screw. The air goes out and then you can unconnect it. Okay, remember to screw it back. Now we take a look uh, on a different carburetor that's not original Valbro, <clears throat> it's uh, from Chinese manufacturer and uh, we will check uh, if this one is good or it needs some adjustment. So we will check, check it for leakage. And you can see that it's going down by itself. So that means there's either a leakage on this side or under the needle here. Uh, we can try to push the needle in with small pressure of your finger and check if it is the needle or if it is somewhere else. Yeah, it's still going down pretty quick so we can be pretty sure that it's somewhere here. Uh, in this case, because uh, this carburetor was never used, it may be the, the case that uh, when, when the fuel gets in, uh, the fuel gets into, into the gasket and uh, as the gasket with the fuel gets bigger, uh, it will stop the leakage. But uh, if you buy a carburetor and it is like this, you should unscrew the screws, uh, put it in the fuel for a few minutes or 30 seconds 
and then uh, assemble it back and uh, there should be no leakage at all when 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 it is uh, soaked in a in a, in a fuel uh, the next thing i'm going to show you <coughs> uh, you see it settles somewhere so the small pressure it holds so uh, i bet that if if i soak this in in a fuel it it would be great uh, the next thing I want to show you in this video is how to use uh, this gauge. Uh, here uh, you find WB, it's for these carburetors, WB37, and here uh, you see this small lever there's a spring and this lever uh, is picking up this needle you see so if you pressurize it and then you push this you hear that uh, the pressure from this side goes out this way and that's what happens when you push your throttle uh, this membrane goes down because uh, of the vacuum and it pushes this lever and then the fuel can go go inside and go uh, into your engine and this lever needs to be precisely set so that's what this thing is for and if you take a look this should be touching very very lightly of the lever not like this one you see if I'm moving it, it pushes pushes the lever down it shouldn't be doing this it should only touch it very 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 little but not pushing it down as, as this one is doing see so if this happens to you, you have to either unscrew this, take the lever and bend it very, very, very lightly and then check again. Uh, or if, if it is, uh, if, if the lever is too much high, you can uh, hold one finger here, push the other finger here and bend it by your two fingers like this you see now now it's perfect it's touching exactly as it should it doesn't uh, pull the lever down but there's no space at all be between between the the gauge and uh, the lever so that's it then you carefully put this back on it's better if, if you disassemble you do it like this Okay. And 
now we will quickly check uh, the pop out pressure and the settle pressure yeah the settle pressure here is still no good uh, I think that uh, if if we uh, if we soak it in the uh, in the fuel, it it would get better, and I have to play with it. Uh, we test all the carburetors this way before we ship them, so don't worry. Uh, they all will work exactly the way as this one is working. I forgot to screw this in. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So this is how you use this pressure gauge and this uh, metering uh, lever gauge. Thank you for watching.